Hey guys, you're watching the EJ Tech Show and today we've got for you our review of the Realme 8 5G. With rather competitive pricing, is this the best affordable 5G smartphone out there? Let's find out. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the Editor G channel and if you enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so we can keep making more videos for you just like this one. Okay, so before we begin, let me provide a little background for the Realme 8 series in India. The Realme 8 and 8 Pro were launched in the country on 25th March with a starting price of 14999. We reviewed the Realme 8 Pro here on the EJ Tech Show and felt it was somewhat of a game changer in this segment. However, it lacked the one feature that's blowing up these days, 5G. Now yes, while 5G networks are yet to launch in India, we've been seeing early signs of Indian telcos rolling out the high-speed network in the coming few years. So if you are thinking of upgrading your smartphone, opting for a 5G device wouldn't be the worst idea. And Realme seems to have understood that, which is why we've got with us today the Realme 8 5G. The Realme 8 5G sports a 6.5-inch LCD panel with an FHD Plus resolution and 90Hz high refresh rate. Now, while both the Realme 8 and 8 Pro get AMOLED displays, they run at a standard 60Hz, so it seems the 5G model has switched to LCD in order to provide a smoother experience while also keeping the cost of the phone in mind. This, I think, is a smart move from the firm. Now, despite being an LCD display, colors are quite vibrant and everything looks crisp thanks to that FHD Plus resolution. However, it is worth noting that the Realme 8 5G does not get Widevine L1 certification for Netflix, only Widevine L3 certification here. When it comes to design, the Realme 8 5G looks quite modern and different from the rest of the Realme 8 series. There's a rectangular cutout on the back for the triple camera system and the back is glossy plastic which is certainly prone to dust and scratches. Realme does include a silicone cover though, which should help keep the phone looking new for longer. We received the supersonic blue color which reflects light in a manner that makes it look like it's coming from the camera cutout, pretty cool. The sides are also plastic but are finished in matte and the rounded back design makes the phone easy to hold in the hand. The phone is quite slim at just 8.5mm and weighs just 185 grams despite everything it packs in. On the back, the Realme 8 5G gets a triple camera system with a 48 megapixel primary sensor and two more sensors for macro and portrait shots. It lacks an ultra wide option, which ideally should have been included. That being said, the primary 48 megapixel sensor takes some really nice shots. Contrast is punchy and shadows seem to come through well. There's digital zoom available too, which is just about okay if you're using it at 2x in outdoor scenarios. Portrait pictures are alright as well and thanks to the dedicated depth sensor, there's decent edge detection here. The same can't be said about macro shots though, which seem to be fine in outdoor conditions but when indoors, pictures just aren't the best. Moreover, when shooting colour-rich subjects, the sensor struggles to determine the accuracy of the colours, as you can see with this image I tried to take of a tomato. The colour has been focused entirely on the tomato, leaving the cloth in the background completely washed out. One area this camera system surprised me though was with night photography. The night mode does do a good job of brightening up darker areas and eliminating noise and grain. Sure, it isn't the best night shots we've seen, but it is quite good when compared to similarly priced competitors. For video, you can shoot at a maximum 1080p at 30fps and there's also support for 120fps at 720p resolution. For selfies, the Realme 8 5G gets a 16 megapixel sensor, which takes decent selfies even indoors. However, the images are a bit soft and while the portrait mode does do a good job of blurring out the background, edge detection isn't very accurate. Videos with the front camera can be shot at up to 1080p at 30fps. When it comes to performance, the Realme 8 5G runs on the MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G chipset. There's also 8GB RAM on offer which makes this phone great for running day-to-day -day tasks and punching out a few mobile gaming sessions as well. Moreover, that 90Hz screen actually feels smooth here thanks to this power under the hood. Multitasking is a breeze and apps are also quick to respond. Graphic-heavy games like Call of Duty Mobile run easily at medium graphic settings with barely any sort of drop frames or heating issues. 
It is worth noting though that this chipset does not support anything higher than medium graphics settings for Call of Duty Mobile. There's Android 11 out of the box on the Realme 8 5G, which is good to see. That brings all the latest features like nearby share and offers the most modern Android experience currently available. There's also Realme UI 2.0, which has seen some significant improvements over the years. On the utility front, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB Type-C port and a single bottom firing speaker here. There's a 3-card SIM slot that can take up to two SIM cards and one microSD card all at once. There's also a side-mounted fingerprint scanner here which unlocks the phone very quickly and rarely gave me any failed inputs. Now, battery life is one of the key highlights here on the Realme 8 5G as it gets a large 5000 mAh unit. This gave me on average around 8 to 10 hours of screen on time even with the 90Hz option turned on. It does get 18 watt charging but that isn't quite fast for a battery this size and going from flat to full took me over 2 hours. All in all, the Realme 8 5G aims to offer customers the benefits of 5G whenever it rolls out at a price point that doesn't break the bank. For day-to-day -day tasks, it performs very well and can even handle a few intense gaming sessions without any issues. If that's what you're looking for in a smartphone, the Realme 8 5G might be the right phone for you.